Hey, this is Presh Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. The angles A, B, and C of a triangle are in an arithmetic progression. What is the value of the following? It's the ratio of the sides A over C multiplied by the sine of 2 times the angle C plus the ratio of the side C over A multiplied by the sine of 2 times the angle A. As is customary, A is the side opposite angle A, B is the side opposite angle B, and C is the side opposite angle C. The sides are written in lowercase and the angles are written in uppercase. You have two minutes to solve this and you cannot use a calculator. This comes from the 2010 IIT JEE Paper 1, Problem 29, and I learned about it from Khan Academy. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We'll get started by simplifying this expression. We'll first use the double angle formula for sine. The sine of 2 times an angle is equal to 2 times the sine of that angle multiplied by the cosine of that angle. So we'll substitute in for sine of 2c, and then we'll substitute in for sine of 2a. Next, we'll use Althusi's law of sines. This states that sine of the angle a over the side a is equal to sine of the angle b over side b, which is equal to the sine of the angle c over side c. We're only going to need the sine a over a and sine c over c formulas. In the first term, we have sine c over c. We'll substitute that in sine a over a. In the second term, we have sine a over a, and we'll substitute in sine c over c. This makes a over a cancel and c over c cancel. We then simplify and factor out the two. What remains will be equal to sine of a plus c. So we simplified our expression tremendously. Now how do we compute 2 times the sine of angle a plus angle c? First recall that the sum of the angles in a triangle in the plane is 180 degrees. We subtract b from both sides, so we get a plus c is equal to 180 degrees minus b. We're going to be able to figure out angle b because the angles are in an arithmetic progression. So angle A will be some angle A, B will be A plus D, and then C will equal A plus 2D. We add up the angles and we get 180 degrees. Now on the other side, we get 3A plus 3D. We then divide both sides by 3, and we get that 60 degrees is equal to A plus D and a plus d is equal to angle b. We substitute that in, and we have 2 times the sine of 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, which simplifies to be 120 degrees, and that evaluates to be 2 multiplied by the square root of 3 all over 2. The 2's cancel, and we get the answer of the square root of 3. Wow! Now just for fun, we can check our answer using the special 30-60-90 triangle. If we let angle A equal 30, B equal 60, and C equals 90, notice the angles are in an arithmetic progression. This is a special right triangle. The side opposite angle A will be equal to 1, and the side opposite angle C will be equal to 2. Technically, the sides are in the ratio of 1 to 2, but we might as well just say they're 1 and 2 because we're checking our answer. We substitute in the values that we have for this triangle. Then the sine of 180 degrees will cancel out to be 0, so the first term vanishes. Then we have 2 times the sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to 2 times the square root of 3 over 2. The 2's cancel out, and we're just left with the square root of 3. And we've confirmed this is the correct answer. Incredible! Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.